Sayyidina Atta, Rahmatullah ta'ala, is narrated from his father. The once the respected wife of a famous pious person, Sayyidina Abu Muslim Hulani, Rahmatullah ta'ala, said to him, We have no more flour in our house and nothing to eat. Sayyidina Abu Muslim Khulani ta'ala, said, Do you have any money to buy flour? She humbly replied, I have one dirham, which I have got by selling wool. He said, Give me the dirham and I will buy flour with it. Taking the dirham and a bag, he went to the marketplace. And when he intended to buy flour from a shop, a beggar suddenly came and said, O oh, Abu Muslim Khulani, ta'ala, give me this dirham as sadqa. Sayyidina Abu Muslim Khulani ta'ala, came out to the shop and he went into another one. As he was just about to buy the flour, the same beggar came again and said to him, O oh, Abu Muslim Khulani, I am very helpless. Give me this dharma sadka. The beggar continued to follow him. Eventually he, Ramutullah ta'ala, gave him the dharam. When he gave him the dharam, he began to think to himself, What will I now give to my family? I want not one dharam and I've given that. And there's no flour in the house, no food in the house. And he, what he did is he went to a carpenter shop where he filled his bag with sawdust and soil and he walked home. He knocked on the door and the door was opened. As the door, as soon as the door was opened, he handed over the bag to his family and he returned without even entering the home. Because he was embarrassed, he didn't know what to say, he didn't know what to do and he didn't want to have to face that when they opened the bag and they see the sawdust and they say to him, this is not flour, what's happened? And he didn't have any answers. He didn't know what to say to them, he was embarrassed. So he's thinking his family would get worried after they had found that the bag was full of sawdust and soil. So Sayyidina Abu Muslim Khulani became very worried and he did not come home all day long. On the other hand, Allahu Akbar, when his respected wife opened the bag, what did she see? Allahu Akbar. It was full of very high quality flour. Therefore, she cooked the food quickly and began to wait for him. Late on in the night, he secretly entered the home. So his respected wife brought him fresh rotis, fresh bread and gave it to him. Amazed to see the rotis, he said, where did you get this fresh bread, this roti from? His respected wife said, these are the rotis from the flour that you have brought. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Listen to this. He began to cry. And he thanked Allah Azza wa for turning the soil into flour and keeping his dignity intact. Allah Akbar. Viewers of Madhuri Channel, have you seen that from this, giving sadaqa and helping the poor is liked by Allah Azawajal very much. If a Muslim pleases the heart of the poor by sincerely giving them sadaqa and charity, Allah Azawajal is the one that bestows respect upon you. Allah is the one who bestows respect upon you no matter what is your situation. He bestows upon him even more than his expectation. Has he's been understood by the above mentioned parable. Despite being a needy person himself, Sayyidina Abu Muslim Khulani, Rahmatullah ta'ala, gave the amount of flour in the divine path as a sadqa, which was accepted by Allah Azza wa who turned the sawdust and soil into a good quality flour. Allahu Akbar. And in this way, Himi and his family members were blessed with excellent bread. Therefore, whilst giving sadqa and charity, we should now have any thought in our mind that by giving this money, it will decrease our wealth. You know, when you have this mindset, I've got £10. If I give £10, I've, I've got £5. I've now only got £5. We should not have this mentality. You, whatever wealth you've got, number one, whatever wealth you have got, where did it come from? Allah Azza wa give you. Allah Azza wa give you that wealth. Allah Azza wa give you the strength to earn that money. Allah Azza wa give you the intellect to earn that money. Allah Azza wa give you the opportunities to earn that money. Everything that you say about that money, Allah Azza wa Jal gave you them opportunity to earn that money. If it was not in your luck, if it was not in your kismet, it was not in your destiny to earn that money, you would not have earned it. So Allah Azza wa Jal has given you that. Be it by the fact that you've sold something, be it by the fact that you work somewhere, by whatever. Allah Azza wa Jal give you that money. So we need to have this mentality that this money that we have got, this money that we've got, this wealth that we have got, it came from Allah Azza wa Jal. And on the day of judgment, you will be asked, what did you do with that wealth? Well, it was mine, I spent it. Okay, take it. But that's not going to help you on the way of Allah, on the day of, on the day of judgment. That money that Allah Azza wa bestowed upon you, 
on the day of judgment, you will be asked, what did you do with that wealth? And what answers do you want to give? Whatever answers you want to give, just think to yourself in a moment, whatever answers you want to be able to give on that day, when Allah Azza wa Jal asks you, what did you do with that wealth that I give you? Whatever answers you want to give, can you now give them? And if you can't give them, then you need to work towards to be able to give them answers. Because on that day, you won't be able to lie. On that day, you won't be able to do anything. The truth will prevail. So whatever answers you think will benefit you on that day, you need to work towards them now. If on that day you feel that, Ya Allah, I spent it on my family. Ya Allah, I give it to my poor family as well. Ya Allah, I helped my poor family. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I spent it in the way of Allah, Azawajal. I gave it to the madrasa children. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I, I built a madrasa. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I built a masjid. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I dug a well. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I bought religious books and I distributed them. Ya Allah, Azawajal, I, I gave food to the poor. If these answers, and these are the answers, these are just some of the answers, my dear viewers and mother child, some of the answers that will benefit you on that day. Now, if you can give them answers, marhaba. But if you can't give them answers now, then you need to work towards giving them answers. And time starts now. Time does not wait for anybody. Right now, work towards them answers. Right now, spend in the way of Allah Azza wa Jal. Right now, give sadaqah. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.